There, blast them. Yes, the Jedi strength flows from the Force. Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McCloud. Now listen here. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Alan Roberts is without a doubt triggered for some reason by Kenny K.O. Now, he made a video a few weeks back talking about, yeah, we're doing the real ways for real heroes. He wants Kenny to come out. Um, you know, he's calling, he's talking a bunch of shit. Yo, Kenny, you know, you're, you're a coward, you're afraid to come out, da 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 You said you're gonna come out on this date, you haven't gotten back to me. Well, first of all, if you can understand what a curve is, you just got curved. Obviously, Kenny's not fucking with you. Now, this new video he just put up, I mean, it's just vulgarity after vulgarity. That's like it's style, he's trying to catch people's attention. Now, he curses more than I do, and fuck, I curse a lot. But it's just ridiculous because you can see behind the you know what do you want to call it you know he's trying to make a video it's like it's like he's trying to roast but behind the roast move the roast to the side look deep into this guy's eyes now let me show you here this is this is some sincere triggerism going on right now Kenny K.O. has mentally destroyed this guy now just watch I'm gonna play a few snippets in this and give my opinion on what he's saying but watch this watch this get that shit done. I appreciate it. So, Kenny KO is back. He, uh, after getting both of his channels, uh, Kenny KO and Kenny KO Sarms, terminated off YouTube, he has decided to come back with Kenny KO yes. again. Oh, wow. Well, we didn't know that. Well, thanks for the explanation. I mean, oh, wow. Cool. Good for you, motherfucker. For real. First of all, good for you, and I really do mean that. You know, it's, it's good to see people not give up, so good for you. I will say that I'm glad to see you came in the way you fucking went out copied other people's shit because the very fucking first video he posts is this rock video that for real like <clears throat> this is one of those situations where people say well why are you speaking on another man why are you worried about what the fuck Kenny K.O. was doing with this channel it's Kenny K.O.'s channel because maybe you built the majority of your subscriber base off of drama and throwing other people in your videos it's funny though because you know you seem to keep calling out Kenny K.O. but I'm over here you know knocking at your door where are you, Robert? Robert? You know, <laughs> now, now the other day, you know, I'm gonna stay on this guy's helmet because he sent his trolls over to my channel when I was live streaming the other day, playing PUBG, sending kids back to the lobby the way I do, the best player in the game. Um, you know, a couple of guys came over and they, you know, they were spilling the beans. Robert Allen sent us here, Allen Robert, whatever his name is, Robert sent us to your channel. They're saying a bunch of vulgarities, a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, there you no know, racial slurs, a whole lot of stuff, you know, and they were telling me, you know, we talk a lot of shit about you over here on Robert's website because Robert won't dare put a video up with Damien McLeod in the title. Why? Because he's afraid, obviously. You know what I'm saying? They want to keep it, you know, the, the, the group really nice and tight because if he responds to me, because, you know, like Kenny Kale is not responding back to this guy. He really doesn't care. But if he responds to me, well, then, hey, it's gonna send people over here. That's the whole point of making these drama videos talking a bunch of shit. That's why he's sitting here right now in his car with his hot breath talking a bunch of shit. It, he kind of fucking ripped right off this fucking Grandmaster dude. Like, I mean, like, he might have changed one or two things, but there's like no fucking work involved in that. That is just like him, like, taking somebody else's piece of fucking work, chopping it up slightly, and fucking just put it the fuck out there. There's almost like, there's n almost no original content in that fucking video. And who cares? That's his channel. You know what I'm saying? Do you, right? That's what people were saying in this situation. Well, why do you care? What, why? Why do you, how does it benefit, how does it bother you? Does it benefit you? Does it take away from what you're doing? No, it gives you an opportunity to make one of these videos, which you got 14,000 views off of drama. It's funny, it's funny. But like I said, you know, you're looking for drama where you know Kenny KO is not swinging back. You're bullying Kenny K.O. online, he's not swinging back, but I'm right here, the big bad wolf. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Fight Video himself, the baddest man on the planet, I'm calling you out. But, but you're scared. And then your boy, uh, Steve Shaw jumps on my, uh, on one of my videos, he says a few things. Oh, no one's gonna mention you because you're them. Shut up, dude, you guys just got your subscribers on your videos because of drama and shit talk, the fake Merc videos, 
you know, you're trying to get a response back from Blaha. You guys got this whole thing where you're creating this buzz. But Voldemort here, aka Damien McCloud, you're afraid to say my name. It's cowardism. But you sit here bold as day in your car, talking a bunch of shit to a kid who doesn't even care. Why don't you go after some, hey, I'm right here. I'm down for a little video to video brawl. You're going after a kid who obviously doesn't want to have anything to do with you because you're an old man who just, you know, you're triggered. He cares nothing about you. But me, on the other hand, hey, I like the drama. It's funny, man. Let me play a little bit more of this crap here. Listen to this. No. At all. At all. Uh, I, I, I find it fucking amazing, motherfucker. I, I really do that you're, I mean, it's just so, like, egregious that you just don't give a fuck that you, like, you're okay with being known as a dude that blasts people out for copying shit, but copy shit. And sh well, I mean, you're the dude who talks shit to people, but then when someone calls you out, you're afraid to, you're afraid to respond back. Because you know what would have happened. You know the moment you get on that video, and you say Damien McCloud, da 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 da, motherfucker, and all the little curse words you do, and then you put that thing up there. That's access. That's a funnel. You're afraid. You're afraid. But you'll sit here in your car and you'll talk shit. I mean, listen to this guy. Come on. Quit picking on a kid who doesn't want anything to do with you and come on over here to the dark side and get that work because you know. You know you don't want none of this smoke. <laughs> Robert, stop bullying people who doesn't want it. I'm calling you out. Right here, right now. Come on, McFly. McFly. Chicken. Like, come on. Come on, Rob. Come on, you and Steve. Like, you know, Steve showed up talking a bunch of crap. Where's the video? But then I saw Steve doing the same thing. He made a video about Kenny K.O. Talking about, yeah, you gotta step up and be a real man, the, the court of public opinion, and stand in there trying to be all tough and, you know, trying to, trying to intimidate people. That's what it is. This is bullying. I'm the anti-bully. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a big fan of Kenny K.O. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I see bullying. I know bullying when I see it. And I'm calling you out, tough guy. Why don't you guys come pick on someone your own size? Come on, man. Come on. It's, this is this is cowardly 101. If this was Goldeneye, one of my favorite games, you guys will get the award for most cowardly because you're ducking and dodging and running, hiding under the bush whenever you see me coming. Come on now. Come on. Shit like that. Like, I, I, I find I, that fucking hysterical, hysterical, but at least we know where the fuck you stand. Yeah, we, we know where you stand too. Behind the wall hiding when you see me coming. Oh shit, Debo's coming. <laughs> Who? D. Bo! <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. I don't even know how YouTube hasn't even knocked this guy's videos down. I got an email from YouTube because I made a roast video about this guy, and I didn't even say one single swear word, yet YouTube felt the need to get at me. But then, you know, they let these guys get on here and just say, spit obscenities at people over and over and over and over. Kenny K.O. is doing Kenny K.O. Why aren't you doing you? Why aren't you responding back? You got someone clearly calling you, Robert, Robert. Have you gotten this far in a video? Are you really gonna just sit there and ignore it again? Come on, come on. Step up to the big leagues. Don't hide behind your subscriber count. You just got your subs up. Now you're feeling all high and mighty. Come on, stop hiding, man. Stop being a bully on the internet. You seem not to like it when people, you know, poke fun at you. I'm pretty sure you might've reported the video I put up about you. I think you might have. That's why YouTube contacted me. But then here you are sitting, here you are, listen, listen. We still have never, we still didn't hear a May 1st response to whether you're coming for Real Wage for Heroes, so I'm just gonna take that as a no because you're a pansy ass bitch. What, what, what? <laughs> That's like the pot calling the kettle black. You're calling him a pansy ass for not responding. Well, what are you? What does that make you? What does that make you? You're not responding. You are Steve. Both of you guys started drama. I wasn't even gonna go at you. You started this way back on your live stream when you called me an idiot and tried to talk tough because you already knew about me because I had a little buzz going already. So you already knew about me. And that's why you just sit saying, hey, what's up, Damian McCloud? Like you would if someone else, you know, showed up on your shit. No, you, you talk shit. And then Steve Shaw was, you know, he was actually cool. He followed me on Instagram, like I said before. And then once he saw that, you know, I went at, I roasted you, then what up? Oh, 
he, he got on board. He got on code, got on the team. Now, both of you guys been poking fun at the bear. Now, I woke up. I'm out of hibernation. But I don't see you. Hey, McFly, where are you at? Let's listen to some more of this. But uh, I really do. I want to applaud you for coming in, uh, coming back in the way you went out. Copy of people's shit. Now all we need to do is have you Photoshop a couple fucking uh, thumbnails and it's right back to fucking business as usual for you, right, kid? <laughs> this dude is beyond triggered. Like, look, where, look where he's at right now. He's in his car. So he drove out to the, because that's obviously not a house. This is a parking lot of some building somewhere. He's out there in the parking lot, found some, found some good lighting. Look at that building over to the right. Where is he at? So he grabbed his camera gear, drove out somewhere. He couldn't even go in his driveway and just film in his driveway. He went and drove somewhere, set his camera up, and rehearsed, and then just started going at Kenny K.O. What kind of weirdo are you? This is weird. This is borderline stalkish. Bullying slash stalking. That's what this is. But anyway, you know, like I said, you know, I'm, I don't plan on hearing, hearing a response from this guy ever. You know, bullies are really just cowards. They poke fun at the people that they know that they can get away with it with. But when someone bigger and badder steps up to the plate, well, they go, they go hide and cry. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, me just calling out this randomness of these weird older men on the internet. I mean, you're too old to be acting like this. You're on the wrong side of 40. You're on the wrong side of 40, man. Relax. That Kenny K.O., what, Kenny, he's like, what, in his 20s, 25, 22, something like that? Let Kenny do his thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as him promoting SARMs, you know, that's whatever. You know, you can go with that. But the fact that, oh, he made a video, he copied someone's video, but da 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 Come on. No, 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 no. Cut that out, man. That's not what grown men do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. So until next time, everyone, get to the gym. Do work. And muscle up. Signed, Gerald, I'm sincere This year I'm in here I'll spell it out to make things clear And meanwhile, your end's near I've got a lane and I'm in gear You people wonder who's next up That conversation really ends here <laughs>